of you guys. So I've been doing all of this like kind of PA salary stuff and um, job retention and burnout and just kind of talking to you guys about all of the encompassing things that comes along with being a PA, kind of things that you should take into consideration. And another one of these things are your PA friendly states. Now there are states that are very PA friendly and there are states that are not as PA friendly um, and I found a website that has like information on the best states to live in and work in if you are a PA. So I wanted to list out the top 10 best states to live in if you're a PA and to work in. Um, so that is what this video is going to be about. What's up you guys, it's the Don and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so as I stated, I wanted to talk about the top 10 PA friendly states. Now, this site that I found goes into obviously salary, like what the average salary is, and then it does this thing called like lo location quotient, um, which basically tells you like how concentrated an area is. It also gives you about like the average of how many jobs there are available. And so you can go ahead and I will leave it in the description box if you're looking for a job or looking to work in a particular state, um, I'll leave that there and you can check the website out, okay? So Ant and I have been like kind of kicking this idea around about moving for our, a pretty a pretty long time, I guess I would say, um, you know, because why not? You know, we're still kind of young and <laughs> why not move if we can? Because uh, we've been in the current state that we live in right now for a long, long time. So we wanted to see if it was a good idea to kind of do something new, something different. However, we have kids, okay? And so when you have kids, you really don't want to kind of do a lot of disruption in their life. So if we were to move, it would be in one of these transition years. And so um, for us, that is like over the next like two years or so, we would have to figure out like, are we moving? Because if we're not moving, like we're staying where we're gonna be for like the next four or so years. So uh, with that being said, I went on Google and I was Googling stuff and looking at things and I was like, whoa, well, I mean, what's like the most PA friendly state? Because I don't want to go to a state where I'm not going to have like the rights that I think I should have or the salary that I feel like I should have. Um, I want to go somewhere where it's not only conducive for um, a good work life and career, but also a good home life um, and finances, right? Because you don't want to you don't want like bad home life because that's going to translate into bad work life. Okay. So let's get into these top 10 states because I have these states listed out on what the best states are to live in. Um, the number 10 state that they have here is New Hampshire. Now, obviously, like if you want to live in these states or not, that's up to you, but it's just something to think about uh, with respect to what they're, the website is talking about because you want to make the best informed decision. That's like key with things that I talk about. I always want you guys to make the best informed decision um, and you do that by having the most available resources in terms of information. All right, so New Hampshire is number 10. It says that there are about like 187 PA jobs. And again, I think that's just specifically on this website. Um, you can go and look at it, you know, look at ZipRecruiter and all these other places and see if that kind of stacks up. Uh, but the average salary there is $122,175. It says that the lowest 10% make about 76,000 and then the highest 10% make about 196,000. Now, where when it comes to like specifically jobs in New Hampshire, uh, there are jobs that are both for PAs and NPs, so that 187 is like mixed in, uh, but their location quotient is 1.63. Uh, the next state is New Jersey. Now, New Jersey has 532 available jobs, so more jobs available than New Hampshire had. Their average salary is 146963 um, It says the lowest 10% make 95000 and the highest 10% make $226,000. And their location quotient is 1.02. So it looks like New Jersey is a pretty good um, state to kind of look into because it has a good amount of jobs um, and they pay a pretty good salary. Now, you should also keep in mind that a lot of these states, um, you know, in terms of their cost of living, that would be something to just 
keep in mind uh, because yes although the highest 10% make 226 and your average is 146,000 like it depends on where you are living in New Jersey if that is actually like cost effective so just keep that in mind okay Alaska Alaska is number eight I knew a PA from Alaska and she showed me pictures from there and it is beautiful it's beautiful um, I don't know if I would ever want to live there because she said it also gets very cold <laughs> but uh, I, it was beautiful lots of like trails and, and streams and rivers and things like that uh, so that was cool but Alaska has 83 jobs available. Um, their average annual salary is $135,058. The lowest 10% makes $90,000 and the highest 10% makes $201,000. Their location quotient is 1.52. So again, you know, it's a little bit higher than one, but uh, only 83 jobs available. So Although it's good in terms of uh, the salary, the saturation of the market is maybe not as good as you would think. Okay, uh, number seven is Massachusetts. Okay, and so they have 515 jobs available um, on this site, and the average annual salary is 162,000. So you see, these salaries are kind of like rising and getting up there. Okay, the lowest 10% makes 108,000, and then the highest 10% makes 243,000 dollars. Their location quotient is zero. 0.85 and if you saw my last video um, you can compare and contrast in terms of like the the top earners in terms of specialty uh, and where they land with respect to what the average salary of this particular state lands but the highest earners make 243,000 which again is very very good not everybody is going to be in that top 10% but you see where you would land in the average okay all right, the next one is Pennsylvania. So Pennsylvania has a thousand, one thousand, one hundred and thirty jobs available. So lots of jobs available um, in terms of both for PAs and NPs because you know there can be like crossover. So when you go to the site um, that which I will leave in the description box and you click on the particular state, it will bring up not only jobs for PAs but jobs that says PA slash NP. So um, just keep that in mind. Uh, it tells you that their average salary is $131,190, which is significantly less than Massachusetts. Uh, their lowest 10% makes $82,000. Their top 10% makes $208,000. Their location quotient is 1.48. Now, this algorithm and this site takes into consideration not only location quotient and the average salary, but also, it takes into consideration, um, obviously, how many jobs are out there, okay? So just keep that in mind. And let me know if you, like, let me know in the comment section below what you think the number one state is going to be because I promise you it is not the state that you think it will be. I was pretty, pretty surprised. All right, so number five, we're getting down to the top five, you guys. So number five is Minnesota. Okay, Minnesota has 583 jobs available. 141,452 is their average salary. Um, the top 10% makes $221,000, while the lowest 10% makes $90,000. Uh, their location quotient is 1.34. They do have quite a few jobs available, which is 583. You know, just kind of look at that with respect to how many people live in the state, how many PAs live in the state, or how many PAs are kind of like willing to move there. That's also something to keep in mind because, uh, you know, you want to know what your competition is. And also look at it on the NP side as well because you may be competing against some NPs, competing against NPs for some of these jobs as well. Okay, so number four is Maine, okay. Um, I heard Maine is beautiful. I don't know what um, what cool, fun things there are to do in Maine, but I heard it's beautiful and it would be a nice state to visit. Uh, they have 105 PA jobs available. Their average salary is $144,516. Their lowest 10% makes about $92,000 and their top 10% makes $225,000. Their location quotient is one2 
one. Not that many jobs available on this particular site or in the overall job market, so just keep that in mind. The next one is Connecticut. I don't know if you guys knew, but I used to live in Connecticut for a little while, um, so shout out to Connecticut. <laughs> Um, but Connecticut has 273 jobs available. Their average annual salary is $151,153. Their lowest 10% makes $98,000 and their highest 10% makes $231,000. Their location quotient is also in the 1.2s, 1.26 to be exact. Now, I really like this. I really like the lowest 10% being close to that $100,000 mark because I think that that is where you should really start off as a PA. This like $85,000, $88,000, that $70,000 that they've tried to offer new grads and try to like seriously convince you that this is like a good deal for you, you're gonna be learning a lot and yada, yada, yada is like such trash. Um, and I think it's wrong and I think you're doing a disservice to these people that have worked very hard for their certification, studied a lot, and are coming to you because you need somebody to work for you. But you're looking at it at, from a dollar standpoint and trying to devalue um, the education that they've gotten. So for all you future employers of PAs out there, don't be offering them um, things that are under like $98, $99, okay? Try to stick at the at least $100,000 mark, okay? Just a heads up. Number two, the number two state is New York. Okay, so I know a lot of people wanna go to New York, you know, the Big Apple, um, but you, you wanna keep a lot of things in consideration when looking at New York. And obviously this is all, not just in the city, but you know, outskirts of the city, cause we're talking about the state of New York. So there are 1,362 available jobs in New York. Uh, their average salary is $149,785. Their lowest 10% makes $97,000 and their highest 10% makes $229,000. Their location quotient is 1.62. When you look at it in comparison to the jobs that they have available, it's a lot. Um, I actually think that their location quotient is the highest if I can remember correctly. I'm just gonna scroll down really quick to see. Um, and yeah, it is actually, nope, New Hampshire is high at 1.63, so um, not that far behind, but New Hampshire does not have as many jobs available as uh, New York does. New Hampshire only has 187 uh, jobs when New York has over a thousand, so just keep that in mind, okay, when you're looking at things. But let's look at the number one state to live and work in if you are a PA. And drum roll please, because it is Vermont. Now, I, I was shocked, I was bewildered when I saw that it was Vermont, because I would have never thought of Vermont. Um, but Vermont has 71 jobs available, so not that many. Maybe because everybody knew this all along and they're like flocking to Vermont, I don't know. But their average annual salary is $162,792. Their lowest 10% makes $107,000, you guys. While their highest 10% makes $245,000 and their location quotient is 1.41. Again, you can see obviously not that many jobs on the job market, but the average salary of these PAs that work and live in Vermont is ridiculous. Uh, and so it's something to just keep in mind when you're looking at a place to live. This this site actually has all of the states, so you can see all of their like location quotients, how many jobs available. You can literally go click on the state and then just go directly to the job market site um, that is kind of fueling this information. Uh, and then you'll be able to apply to jobs straight from the website if you're interested in uh, the jobs that are being offered. But I think that this is a good place to go when you're a new grad or about to be a new grad just so you can see like the lay of the land as what the job market has to offer. 
there are things that you really have to take into consideration like i guess what your life is going to be like are you close to family are you not do you have kids like what's that life going to be like but um vermont is the number one state to live in who would have knew okay who would have thunk it not i so if you thought that it was vermont let me know in the comment section below um a trend that i definitely saw when looking at this was that the majority of the states were in the northeast and so um clearly like the northeast states pay a little bit more money with respect to um what the cost of living is as well so uh something to also keep in mind and i did notice when i looked at um some of the other states that the southern states don't pay as much so something to keep in mind all right anyways if you guys have any other questions for me leave them in the comment section below uh if you haven't already done so like this video subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram at on the pa and on instagram at get that to university check us out on get that to university.com where we help you not only get into but through pa school with respect to consultations and personal statement reviews and all of that good stuff we have like some different little tidbits of information and things like that for you on the site so be sure to check us out um leave me your comments and thank you guys so much for watching i will talk to you guys next time